what's up guys it's Phil over here so today's video I'm gonna be talking about rooftop tents I'm gonna be talking about pros and cons of a rooftop tent I'm also gonna be talking about soft shell and hard shell rooftop tents so this is actually my second rooftop tent I've actually owned a rooftop tent for about three years now and I've had a bunch of buddies that have had the soft shell and the hard shell tent so I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of each and uh, why some of them still have them on and some why some of them have them off already now let's dive into the pros of having a rooftop tent so first and foremost one of my favorite things of having a rooftop tent is the ability to pull up to camp after a long drive and just being able to pop that up in a few minutes so a, a fond memory that I have is pretty much uh, camping at Lake Powell at a point called Ashton Point you've got a really beautiful view and having a rooftop tent you're gonna have this view from the top of your tent down to the uh, Lake Powell so you know imagine waking up right in the morning and getting that view it's it's perfect it's priceless that's one of the main reasons why I camp on the rooftop tent another reason of having a rooftop tent is not having to carry your tent around anymore and also your tent footprint just having everything on top ready to go at any given time is always a great plus that's why I also like the rooftop tent um, now a con of having the rooftop is um, some people with smaller bladders or older folks that have to go to the restroom frequently throughout the night um, the thought of having to climb down the stairway touching the coat steps and having to uh, take a piss somewhere that's usually not a great experience so those that like to frequently head to the restrooms are definitely not gonna have not gonna like the rooftop tent but I personally love it I love being off ground I love not having to deal with insects um, if I hear weird sounds outside, I know that most animals cannot climb your ladder. So that's why I also like the rooftop tent. Now let's talk about soft shell versus hard shell tent. Obviously, I've got a hard shell tent here. Um, having a soft shell tent, it is nice in its, certain, in its own way. Uh, a lot of times the soft shell tent proves as a great gateway into getting into, this, into the rooftop tent game. Uh, soft shell tents are, are generally a lot cheaper. They can start off with a couple by a couple hundred dollars. A hard shell tent can go up to thousands. So good entry is a soft shell tent. What's also nice about a soft shell tent is that typically you're able to carry more bedding inside because you have adjustable straps. You're usually able to carry your, your sleeping bag, your pillows, and extend the straps and everything should hold in there. However, there are some hard shell tents like the iCamper that you're able to carry some bedding inside. Um, I carry a, a zero degree sleeping bag, so I'm not able to carry all my bedding as much as I'd like to, but I'm able to carry most of it. So there's still pros of having a soft shell tent versus a hard shell tent. Now another pro of having a hard shell tent is that it's actually more aero. So it's a lot lower in profile, so that, was, that should save you a couple mile, miles per gallon. I lost about a mile and a half putting the eye camper and Gobi rack on top of the vehicle. And uh, I've heard buddies with a soft shell tent that they've lost about two to three miles per gallon because generally it's a lot more boxier. So it's, it's going to drag a little bit more air or I'm sorry, more wind. And it's going to affect some of the mile per gallons that you might have. Hard rooftop tents are actually more durable. So if you're going on a lot of trails with a lot of branches, you're less likely to hook onto a branch, tear your canvas on the rooftop tent. So that's a benefit of having a hard shell. Um, however, if you have a hard shell, it will scratch on a trail. It will leave uh, trail marks. So that's something that you're going to have to figure out and worry about as well. A hard shell tent generally lasts a lot longer. So because it has a protective shell, it, it protects the canvas from getting weathered. I've seen some soft shell tent uh, that are just a season old, look like they're three or four years already because of the heavy sun rays. So having a hard shell tent will protect your investment. It'll actually hold a little bit more value when you decide to resell it because it'll look a little bit newer. Uh, and generally, a lot more people are going to buy a hard shell tent versus a soft shell tent. And you can get some great deals on a, on a hard shell tent if you're finding it used as well. I got mine from um, a website called Vilmont. They're also on Instagram. Uh, this one retails new for about $4,500 and I was able to pick it up for $2,500. So make sure you guys snag a great deal. Winter time is always a good time to look for, for used camping equipment now if you're a sporty individual and you like to carry your bikes your skis your canoes uh, anything that you want to attach on top of the vehicle 
you're not able to do that with a soft shell tent but with certain hard shell tents they do come with crossbars that allow you to attach any of your other accessories to them even re recovery boards i've seen some traction boards on top of their rooftop tents so that's that's a nice addition in having a soft a hard shell tent now if you're looking at a big picture and you're thinking about having solar as far as your overland setup then you definitely want to go with a hard shell tent now not all hard shell tents has the ability to add solar to it for my eye camper i did add a um, solar panel onto the very top it's permanently attached so i'm always gonna have a, uh, charling, a charging solar setup. Um, in my other videos, I, I get into depth on my charging system and I uh, show you guys how I, I get electricity while I'm overlanding. So again, if you're thinking big picture of your overlanding experience, a hard shell tent will help you be able to get solar set up. So there you go, guys. That's the pros and the cons of a rooftop tent. Some comparisons between a soft shell and a hard shell tent. Um, I hope this video helps you guys out in making your decision. If you guys are on the fence of getting a rooftop tent, I'd say just go at it. They do hold great value. You are able to resell it if things don't work out. Um, one of the things I didn't mention earlier into the video about a con of having a rooftop tent is definitely parking. So I live in a city and parking is, is usually structured. So having a rooftop tent, I can say goodbye to that. The clearance on the vehicle is just too high. I'm not able to park in a parking structure. Um, even when we head to Vegas, I'm not able to park at any of the casinos. I'm usually at the overflow lot. So that's definitely a big con. Um, but a big plus, again, that I didn't mention earlier, is that a, a rooftop tent, is, a hard shell rooftop tent is actually four seasons. So if you're getting into camping and you want to camp at all four seasons, getting a hard shell tent will allow you the ability to do that. Uh, what I mean by four season tent is that you're able to camp in wind, in rain, in, in heat, in, in all the elements that you need to. Uh, in wind especially because the hard shell tent is angled at a certain direction. If there are some 20, 30 mile winds, having a regular tent is not gonna do it. You're gonna have a really difficult time in sleeping. But having a hard shell tent and positioning it the right angle, you're able to just bounce that wind right off and you won't even feel it throughout the night. So that's definitely a plus. So let me know what you guys think. I hope this video helps you guys out. Make sure you guys hit like, make sure you guys hit subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.